Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we revived God, and he said some nice things to us, and then he disappeared. And then we ended up back here in uh, the ruins area for whatever explic inexplicable reason that we're here. I have no idea how we ended up here or why. It just kind of happened that way, but we're going to go back to Fishbell. Uh, pretty soon we're going to have a party shake-up, just so you know. Uh, somebody's going to be leaving the party and somebody else is going to be coming in. So, where do we have to go? Yeah, I can't believe it either. It actually happened. How about that, huh? Yeah, I mean, what do we have to thank him for anyways? That's a good question. That's a good statement to have. Yeah, our world was peaceful enough, huh? I mean, we didn't have any monsters anywhere. So what the hell are we reviving this guy for anyways? Oh, okay, so, well, well maybe we can, uh, maybe reviving him will make it even better than it already is. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, let's go talk to my parents. Yeah. Giant celebration for me, huh? That sounds great. So yeah, I guess I guess we're at the end of the game then, huh? I mean, there's nothing else to do. We revive guy, everything's peaceful. I mean, I don't know. Glad to have him back, huh? Yeah, so what the hell was the point of even reviving him then if most people's lives aren't even going to be affected? That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Right? Oh, man. Hey, kid. Yes. Really? I didn't see him. That's because you weren't with us, kid. One thing I kind of want to check. This fucking chest that's in here, man. I don't know if you can open it. The only way I could see that one opening is maybe the ultimate key, but I don't know. I'm not even sure, man. But yeah, I don't think we actually get the ultimate key until uh, the final dungeon. Which is still a ways away. Ooh, that guy's gonna eat and drink until he passes out from exhaustion. starving. I am God. Thought I was crazy. Yeah. So these people are actually hearing God talk to them in their heads. So you know he's real, huh? Either that or you got schizophrenia. Oh, look, it's Maribel. Hey. You're going to revise m your opinion of me, huh? Just a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Melvin, you are doing Maribel's part better than Maribel ever will. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> hey. 
Okay. Yeah. What do you have to say, Amit? and lots of fish. If you don't like fish, you are shit out of luck. Because that's what we eat here in Estar. We eat fish. Because that's like our most abundant natural resource. As far as food, right? Anyways, uh... What the hell do I gotta do in this town, man? I talk to to get the get the thing going here. I'm gonna have to refer to my guy to where I have to go next. Or I could use that fortune teller. Oh, you're you're that confident that he's gonna save you, huh? Got this guy peeling potatoes. Hey, head cook. Uh, yes. say there for a second there I couldn't move. Yeah, I mean maybe we should have helped that poor guy out with all that food. Even though he couldn't see the food he was carrying, so it's kinda hard to tell. Holy shit. Whoa man, how'd they get those tables set up so fast? Having the chance to drink and I didn't know that was illegal, drinking in broad daylight. Is that is that illegal or something in, in, in Dragon Quest World or, or Japan or something? Or maybe maybe he's talking about public intoxication. Is it re is it rude to eat while walking? No. And it's not rude to smoke while walking either. I remember when I was in the military. I used to get yelled at for smoking and walking at the same time, when I used to smoke. It was a lot of shit. I hated it. Couldn't, you couldn't do any, you couldn't even talk on a cell phone while walking in the military. And there was some, and I think the, the stupid fucking reason for that was, um, so if you did, if you passed like an officer or something like that, you wouldn't be distracted and you would salute them or something like that. A stupid rule. At least I think it's stupid. I never was really big on that whole military courtesy shit. You know, the whole saluting of the officers and standing at parade rest for, for non-commissioned officers. I hated that stuff. I mean, for the most part, in like, the National Guard, like I was in the Army National Guard, it, it was pretty lax when it came to that shit. But active duty Army, man... There's some fucking egotistical bastards in the active duty army, man. Like, you wouldn't even believe. Like, people getting pissed off at me and yelling at me because, like, you know, sometimes you don't see people, you know, that you pass by sometimes. Like, you'd be walking and, like, you might be looking somewhere else, you might be looking at something, and somebody might pass you on your left-hand side when you're looking off to the right, and then they yell at you because you didn't see them and you didn't salute them. I hated that shit. The people that used to yell at me for that, I, I fucking despised them. And they're usually, you know, the, the shitty officers that didn't know anything or do anything or, or fucking have anything of value. They were just fucking power tripping, egotistical dicks. Uh, I don't know, I haven't eaten anything yet, but yes, I do. 
I will preemptively say yes. Hey, Maribel. Uh, yeah, plan on. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, she's got more respect for me now. How about that? She's actually starting to treat me like a real man. And not a worthless fisher kid. Never got drunk. I mean, he still drinks, right? Yeah. I don't care whether you follow my footsteps or not. First and foremost, we have to find we have to find a wife. Man is helpless until he has a wife to take care. Of. What? That's false, dude. I don't agree with that at all. You know, you're a good dude, and I like you, and you're badass, but I don't agree with this statement at all. A man is helpless until he has a wife to take care of him and his home. No. You don't need a woman to do that. I mean, it's nice to have a woman do that for you, but it's not required. Nah. I don't need a bride. I'm just gonna stay a bachelor. How's that? No, we're not doing a wedding ceremony. Fuck that shit. Not doing it. I refuse. All right, so what now? What the hell do we do now? I can't even remember. You and me, the master guy working on stead, follow the path. Oh. Wait, that's farther ahead, never mind. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it is. Go to Estard City and visit the king, okay. Apparently, that's what I gotta do next. The game doesn't even fucking tell you. Oh, hey, there's an old man here. Oh, hey, it's Johan. Hey. Well, you're gonna take over the party for me, huh? Point me in the direction of the alcohol and I'll start playing some of my beautiful music. You know, it's funny. I bet you anything, they probably edited that out of the uh, 3DS version. They probably called the alcohol. I haven't. I, I don't know for sure because I haven't played the 3DS version that much, obviously. But um, I bet you anything they fucking took that out. So yeah, we're hearing the sad music. Why are we hearing sad music? Yeah, he wants to laud me for all my valiant deeds. Yes, and everybody's enjoying their food while we're walking. Apparently, we're eating while walking. Where the hell did Johan go? Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the hell out of here. Get out of my way, old man. Almost there for a second, it didn't look like I could walk around him. Where's the little, uh, where's the little halfling guy? The dwarf guy? Hey, guy. Yeah, we did. You know, I forgot to tell you about Gabo, too, man.
Yeah, I don't think I ever... Uh, I think at some point in the story, you can actually come back here and talk to this guy with uh, when Gabo actually uh, gains his power of speech, and uh, he'll actually comment on Gabo being able to talk, if I recall. But yeah, I forgot to do that, and... Uh, and yeah, it's too late. It's too late in the storyline for that to actually come up, so whatever. Alright, where the hell... Oh, shit, man, there's like nobody in this town at all. castle. Okay, well, let's go. Oh, wow. Look at this welcoming party. Did, eh? Hooray for me. Everybody looks happy. Everybody loves me. I revive that big fat tubby sky wizard. Oh, here we go. Princess Lisa. No, he will never come back. Maybe in the 3DS version. I don't know. I have heard a rumor that you can get Kiefer back in that version of the game. But I, I don't. I don't know for sure if that's actually possible or not. Uh, don't don't bother spoiling it for me. I mean, I guess if you want to spoil it for me and tell me if he's in the 3DS version, then go ahead. But I wouldn't mind actually just playing through the game one day and just kind of like you know finding that out for myself. You know, because I still ha I still haven't played the 3DS version yet. I mean, I've seen video, certain videos of it I've seen. That's how I know about some of the differences. But ultimately, I don't really know about the differences, like, especially with, the, like, the class system and, the, and, and uh, this version of the game. I have no idea. I heard it takes less battles to level up the classes, which is good. Um, but I also heard some bullshit that you can't carry over your, uh, your fucking abilities between, between classes, which uh, I don't know if I'm a big fan of. Guaranteed peace. Yes, we're going to take a nice little rest. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. She's going to go to the woodsman's place. So that's where we can find Gabo. If we need to talk to him. Yes, Melvin's going to be returning. You're going to go to God's side, huh? He's inviting her to stay here. And yet they still don't realize that she's probably related to Kiefer. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Love hearing the triumphant Dragon Quest theme. Uh, 
typo. I saw a typo in that dialogue. I don't understand how there can be typos, man. I mean, there is a lot of text in this game, but... I mean, honestly, didn't they play test it and somebody go, Hey, look, that word is misspelled. Or am I just fucking retarded and actually pointing out and, and actually noticing that shit? The end. That's it, folks. Oh, wait, maybe not. Days and months pass, huh? Then one morning. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to work up extra hard for being late for my dad. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go fishing with my dad now in the next episode. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.